sodium. You want to install it because, well, you want to go from like 20 FPS to over 100, and that's possible using the sodium mod. It's basically a performance mod for Minecraft that really optimizes things and takes things to the next level. So to get started, go to the first link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting sodium, which many people prefer, but if you don't, no worries, because from here, go ahead and click on the download sodium button to go to the official sodium download page on Modrinth. On this page, you will find all of the Sodium's versions as well as a ton of information about Sodium that can sometimes be helpful. For example, there are some hardware that can have issues with Sodium, so that's worth noting. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the Versions tab up here at the top, and then you can go ahead and filter for versions 1.21.1 because that's what we're installing in this video. Right here it is, Sodium, and it is for 1.21.1, so click that green download button and Sodium will begin downloading. You may have to keep or save it like this, which is 100 safe to do and while it's downloading how to us from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mods plugins or mod packs to the server and truthfully customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so if you want to start a minecraft server stop struggling to do it and start it the simple way using simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz slash sgh now we need to download fabric fabric is the mod loader that basically allows Sodium to work with Minecraft. Of course, there's a link in the description down below to here, which is our in-depth text guide on getting Sodium. But we're going to go over pretty much everything in this video as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to go to Fabric's official download page. Here, you want to click on this Download Universal Jar link. The reason we're doing that and not clicking that big Download for Windows button is because if you download as the Universal Jar, it'll set your computer up to be able to install other mods and mod loaders and things like that easier in the future. So we go ahead and click that. You may also need to keep or save this, and the download will begin. Now let's go ahead and move these to our desktop. So we can go here on our desktop and then find in our downloads folder, Fabric and Sodium. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Fabric here. To do that, you want to right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you do, you click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, as of Minecraft 1.21, you need this. Java 21. So if you have an older version of Java, it won't work. That's why you may have Java, you click OK, it doesn't work. Or if you don't have Java at all, just install Java 21. So in both those cases, that's your solution. Come here, download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Sodium's a Minecraft mod, and this covers everything. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, download Java, then run the jar fix. Now at this point, we go ahead and minimize our browser and install Fabric. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK and it will open up the Fabric installer. Make sure 1.21.1 is selected, which it is. Make sure Create Profile is selected, which it is, and click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.1 before, or if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed and you've played the 1.21.1 version. Yes, the 1.21.1 version, and if that's the case, this will work. Click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and delete it. You don't need it anymore. Now let's install Sodium. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher, but do not play Minecraft. Just open up the Launcher. Then in the Minecraft Launcher, go up to Installations up here at the top. Make sure modded is checked, and once you check modded, there it is, Fabric Loader 1.21.1. Now, if you have that, awesome. Skip ahead about 15, 10 seconds in the tutorial. But if you don't have Fabric Loader 1.21.1 here, click New Installation. I'm going to name this new installation Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Version drop-down box. Find Release Fabric Loader 1.21.1, which right here it is. And then go ahead and set your resolution if you need to. I'm going to just because it makes things easier. And then click Create. Now, hello, everyone. If you had a Fabric Loader 1.21.1 profile, let's get Sodium. To do that, hover over it, click on the folder icon that appears, and that will open up your Minecraft folder. Now in here you should have a mods folder, but what if you don't? Well if you don't have a mods folder, no worries, just create one. Right click, new folder, title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. M-O-D-S, mods, right like so, and then open your mods folder. Drag and drop Sodium from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so. And what you do, now play Minecraft with your Fabric installation or the Fabric installation you created. Doesn't matter. Once we play Minecraft with Fabric, guess what? Sodium is going to be installed and working. To see that Sodium is working, you've got to go to Options and then Video Settings. And there you go. Everything is different. Sodium is now working and looking great. 
So you can go ahead and continue on with, well, anything you need to, right? Setting your render distance, getting the quality settings, the performance settings, all of that stuff. A lot of times though, sodium can be pretty good out of the gate. You just want to make sure your render distance and things are set to what they should be. I also want to mention that if you want even better performance than sodium offers, we do have a mod pack called Notified. It's on both CurseForge and on Modrinth, and it allows you to get Optifine parity and better FPS than sodium. It actually has sodium in it, but it adds in even more mods on top of sodium that increase performance more, as well as, like I said, giving you Optifine features such as Zoom and Optifine Capes while working with Vanilla and all of that. It's on Modrinth, it's on CurseForge, and you can easily install it. It's linked in the description down below if you'd rather go that route and get even better FPS than you can with just sodium. For example, that adds in things like Modern Fix and Sodium Extras, which are more mods on top of sodium that really make things perform better. But at this point, though, you now know how to get sodium in Minecraft 1.21.1. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.